This is the Cool Photo Tools Podcast, episode number 93, November 14th, 2016. Are you sick of trying to learn all the new photo software? Are you tired of hearing about the next big thing in photography? Well, neither are we. Welcome to Cool Photo Tools with Jay Bierstorff and Rhonda Spencer. Today's program is brought to you by Skillshare. For a limited time, get three months of Skillshare Premium for just 99 cents. Anyone can take an online class, watch video lessons, and create projects. Over 4,000 premium classes. Go to coolphototools.com slash Skillshare for your discount code. That's coolphototools.com slash Skillshare. Good morning, cool heads, and welcome to another chilly November day with an exceptional podcast for you to listen to. My name is Jay Pierstorff, and this is the Cool Photo Tools Podcast. In the back is my co-host, Rhonda Spencer. Good morning, everybody. You're awake back there already? I am. It's got a enough good... coffee? Mm-hmm. Ready to roll? Mm-hmm. Okay, because we got a bunch of stuff coming up. Okay. There's all kinds of stuff. Is it exciting? Yeah, there's, we only have exciting stuff today. Okay, cool. We, I already cut out the non-exciting stuff so that we wouldn't have to be bothered with it. Good, good, good. So, um, lots of interesting things happening in the photo jungle. In the photo jungle. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing up today is something from a company called Epson. And Epson makes printers. Those of you that have been in the photo business a while. And yeah, Rhonda, you look like you found that too, huh? I did. Okay, so this is the Epson Fast Flow Scanner. It's the world's fastest photo scanner. The FF640 High Speed Photo Scanner. And so this does, uh, well, actually, there's a little video here that I'm going to run for those of you that are looking at this on the uh, YouTube channel here. And so the idea behind this printer is that uh, you, let's say you got, you've got shoe boxes you know, chocked full of images. You know, there are kinds of pictures. And, and I know I have this, and I'm like, oh, you know, those were taken with film. Probably should digitize those. Oh, and I have a scanner. And it takes me about, oh, two to three minutes per image to scan them. So let's see. If I sort out the best ones I want to scan, uh, I'll be at this for about six months if I don't bother to sleep. Right? So mm -hmm. so it doesn't happen. You're just like, I can't do it. Yeah. You know, I might, later. Yeah, there might be just a couple, but it's just, it's too daunting. A flatbed scanner takes way too much time. So if you take a look at this fast photo scanner... Um, this thing is just flying through them. It's like shuffling cards. Yeah. You know, you put a stack of your photos in there and it's just zip, 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 and out they come. So yeah. um, this is pretty cool. What do you think, Ron? Are you going to get one of these? Um, I think it's very interesting. And you notice, they, did you see that real quick there? They, they took a, a panorama that was, uh, I don't know, was it about eight inches wide? Uh -huh. And passed it through and it scanned the whole thing. It just slurped it up like a big piece of spaghetti. Just went right through it. Well, I thought this was interesting, too. With it, it has the restore color correction. Uh, it says, bring life to old photos automatically with smart photo fix technology. Faded photos are restored to the original brilliance with just one click. So besides just being super fast at scanning these, mm -hmm. I'm assuming that means that it is also... Uh, it has some good software that comes with it so that you can color correct these images. Yeah. Hopefully that's automatic and hoping that's fast yeah. and done in the background as well. Yeah. Because otherwise, then that's, that's something else that wouldn't happen. You won't yeah. get that done again. So I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking this is pretty cool. But you know, on the other hand, I'm also thinking I might want to rent one of these. True to see how it is. Do we know what these cost? Do we have a price? I don't have a price on this. A price on these anywhere. I don't no. know if this has come out yet. Uh, it's fast as one photo per second. High quality scans, ideal for life's special events. It's Not nice like, to have a good scanner, though. Well, it is, and I, but I have a good scanner. Don't you have a good scanner? I do. But you I know, have it's, a brothers. Yeah, but it's it takes too long to do this kind of a thing where we're talking about yeah, going through the whole shoebox. Yeah, you know, all those memories. Um, fast photo. It says it's available in various places. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look for that while Rhonda talks to you about the next thing on her list, and we'll see if we can't come up with a 
with a price on that for you. Okay, this is an interesting. Have you heard of the M1? Uh, and I is it? Oh, the the from the. Uh, Go ahead. You can the, the Y YI company. Uh huh. Um, let's see. That's supposed to stand for Young Innovators or something like that. And it's a Chinese company. It is a Chinese mm-hmm. company. Yeah, they make uh, well. They uh, they're famous for their action cameras, which are quite inexpensive and quite good. The YIs and and these are going to be very inexpensive too. Hold on a second, let me because I did have the price on these. These are going this is to, a camera though you're talking this about. Is this a, is like a this, is it a, a mirrorless. Right, this is a mirrorless camera, and it comes with this specific lens that would your when you buy it, and it's uh, four ninety nine. Or four forty nine. Let me look. Hold on. Four forty nine. It comes with a twelve by forty millimeter zoom lens. Okay. So, is it is it APS-C sensor or is it one inch sensor? Let's see what I. Anyway, it comes with interchangeable lens. Looks like a one inch sensor. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Sony, Sony IMX two six nine image. It comes with a Sony sensor. Yep. So twenty twenty megapixel. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's micro four thirds. Okay. Micro Four Thirds, so you could also use the lenses from Mm -hmm. uh, Panasonic and uh, Olympus as well. Uh, Now it's getting kind of interesting in here. Yeah, huh? Yeah, how about that? That's what I said, a minimalist camera design. So what's their website? We're looking at this. It's yitechnology.com is what it looks like to me from here. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, that's is so. I, what else? What's what is innovative about this? Besides, that's a pretty darn good price. It's a great price. Touch screen. Ooh, Look at touch this. screen. Look at this. I'm going to cancel my Sony A6500 and get the YI. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. So, isn't are it? these available yet, or they're just uh, they're uh, thinking about it? No, I think they actually are available. Yeah. And the, what is the model of this one? Is the YI M1? The YI M1. Yeah. YI M1 mirrorless digital camera. Isn't that cool? I, I just looked and I thought, wow, and this. It's really, if you're, well, especially if you're just stepping into this mirrorless trait, and uh, it's a great price, great mm-hmm. price. Yeah, that looks like a good deal. Yeah. So, we was just I was just checking that uh, the Epson, the fast photo, mm-hmm. and that is available from Amazon. And if you click through to our coolphototools.com and click on the affiliate link. You can get it for $599.99. So I'm thinking I might be renting one of those. <laughs> Let's see if borrow lenses or one of those outfits get these in. Because really, after you've scanned your shoe boxes, then what do you do with it? That's you know true. I mean, after, it's, after that's happened, then... That is, that's very true. It's all over. So that's... I like the idea, but I do think it's, a, it's something you need to rent. Um, I'll check on that, too. Maybe. Well, that's true, because you're not going to be doing that much all the time. Yeah. Once you get done with it, you're done. Other than unless you just needed a good scanner, too. Well, uh, but it is a little bit limited. You can't put a book through it, for example. It's, you know, it's a, an auto-feed uh, type of scanner. Yeah. What uh, What's next on your list? <laughs> uh, so this is a selfie. Uh, how can I explain this? It's, Ooh, it's going to be tough. It is. It's like you stick it on a wall. It's oh. a st- camera and a stick to it so instead of you know for the, you selfie people that you love selfies that way you're not having to hold your telephone away from you you can like stick it to a wall okay or a, a, okay. And this is called the the podo and this is on podo. indiegogo.com uh-huh. and the first stick and shoot so, camera so like she's sitting here she's trying to do her selfie this girl's taking a picture and she can't just well, quite it get is it. an issue and, it's, yeah. and god forbid she'd ask that guy to hold the camera I and know. do take so, a picture and, of her oh, oh, there when she had sitting hanging it out yeah. and somebody knocked it out of her hands so now one thing that's better that you can do you can actually just like stick your little camera on a wall you take, could try yeah 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 see right there oh, just yeah. stick it on the post you just stick you it and stick it wherever so they've got some kind of a gooey stuff on there that and uh is restickable it and <laughs> you, yeah tap <laughs> nothing, it and it turns on if nothing else you should just watch the video because this guy's pretty doggone funny that does the video so you stick it anywhere and she can just do herself but now i guess um now does this have wi-fi on it so you can yes. see what, i would say it's going to go to her little telephone what you're aiming at yes and then uh so if you want it be cute and have lots of selfies. Uh, and who go. doesn't? <laughs> yeah. Do you do selfies, Jay? Mm, sometimes. Do you? Um, uh, not me. I just have a podcast. It's the same oh. thing. 
I guess. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like you can it's the ultimate just aim selfie. the camera on you. Yeah, then you're a complete talking a talking head. How much is this? This cost from Podolabs. Oh, what com. does this run on Podolabs? Let me look. Because I thought I had it here. Do 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 do. I don't know. Yeah, I hear. So nobody's come up with the fast photo scanner as a oh, rental it, yet. It is uh, fifty nine dollars. Well, that's pretty cheap. Yeah. Well, it should be. It's just a little bitty camera. Well, just because it should be doesn't mean that it <laughs> is sometimes. True. Okay, true, so true, true, the, true, the, true. The past. The true, past. true. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what's on your list then? Well, you know, do you ever uh, create videos and uh, or production, video productions for people since your DSLR now also shoots um, no, videos, not so much. images? Mm -hmm. No, no. Well, and I do, you know, and I, I create videos and presentations and, and I teach classes. And sometimes you have to right. build those kind of things out. And sometimes you need a sound effect, mm -hmm. you know, and a sound effect uh, can be daunting. You know, I mean, sometimes you need a, an exotic sound to go with it. So where can you find sounds? Online. Yes, but you also, you know, you need to be able to license them, you know, if you're going to sell them to a client. You need sounds that you know you can you can have the rights to reproduce, and you can't just you know you can't just take everything off the internet and use it for free. Sometimes you got to pay for stuff, especially if you've got a paying client. So anyway, mm -hmm. this is a company called uh, SoundSnap.com, S-O-U-N-D-S-N-A-P.com, and they uh, they have all kinds of sounds, and they have a, a big uh, client list of people that buy from them. So you know they have uh, these guys are are pretty good in the industry. Uh, as far as that, and they've got a million users, and uh, you can you can search. You can go to their website, and you can search for, um, let's say, timpani. Who doesn't need a good timpani sound? And then there, you can buy these individually. You can sample. You can you can get to hear what the sound sounds like, um, and then you can uh, you can get it in MP3 or WAV format, and uh, and you can download it. So just specific sounds, or can you get them to say things? We can get well. You can you know you can search for whatever they they have here. I've just mm -hmm. and then you can you know you can buy them. You can subscribe. If you just want their their uh, pricing is uh, is pretty standard for like clip art. So you know if you have uh, uh, if you want to buy five sounds, you know you can get uh, you, you can get a fifteen dollar package. You can get them for three bucks a piece. If you buy twenty sounds, you can get them for a dollar forty five a piece. If you buy um, a monthly subscription, you know thirty five dollars, you could get up to 50 sounds per month. So if you're mm. a big a big user, you know, right. it's uh, it'd be well worth doing some of the better. But even if you just needed a couple, you know, 15 bucks, no big deal if it's if it's the right sound and you need it, you know, for that production then. Anyway, soundsnap.com hmm. is who we're looking at here. All right, go, Rhonda. Okay, I was looking at this is an 8x8 butterfly light modifier collapsible kit. Eight by eight foot. Yeah, eight by eight foot. And so That's it's a pretty butter, big. Yeah, it's a butterfly scrim. Um, scrim. We talked about yes, scrims we did. back, back we a did. episode, a couple episodes ago for when it was Halloween. Yeah. And you could use a scrim. And if you got one of those, you could use it for Christmas. It's That's coming true. up. You know, you can go to, um, I have to look up that website. I can't remember what it was now. Yes, yes. And it comes with three different types of fabric. Um, I like it because it breaks down into a very small carryable case. Well, how much was that? This is going to really amaze you. No. Yeah. It won't amaze me. Yeah, well, Come it's, on. it's 379 Actually, 380 But like I said... Does that come with the stands and everything? That's with everything, it? yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Including yeah. those C stands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are look, you sure? I am. Look, wait. Come down. Look. No. See, there's no stands. Look. I don't see any stands. Do you see a stand? Because C stands are pricey. Well, okay. Century stands. Scroll all the way to what you get. Right. Down there. See? Three types of it. Carrying case. There you go. And supports. Look. Supports. C-clips. It does look like it. It does. I'm telling you. Dang. So I said And this I, is from adorama.com. Yeah, I thought this was a really, really great price. And here I was just going to buy see? a bunch of Halloween candy, but I think I might get this instead. <laughs> see? C-stands right there. Wow. Right there. Yeah. Well, no, wait. No, no. Read that. Okay. It says, the Glow 8x8 Butterfly Scrim frame is supported best by C-stands, like um, the Flashpoint FPLSC, using the two included C-stand adapter mm -hmm. brackets. So, they don't come with the stands, I don't think. 
It looks like it's showing them there, but it, it, must, it must be just something else. Well, okay, so it's not that good a deal. I mean, it still, <laughs> still might be a good deal. If you need an 8x8 eight eight scrim, you yeah. know, that's, that's not a bad, a bad thing. But C-stands, yeah, I didn't think it came with the C-stands. Because those are like 150 bucks a piece or more. Box. Let's look. Just the brackets. C-stand frame Choose. adapter brackets. Uh-huh, that's true. Two brackets. Okay. Wah, wah. Oh, well. Well, it's not the deal we thought it was. It's still but not it's a bad still, deal. Not a bad um, deal. It comes with a, an aluminum frame, an 8 by 8 aluminum well, frame. Well, yeah, because so otherwise your <laughs> scrim is going to just be a piece of fabric on the floor. <laughs> Evidently, people like it. What's the thing weigh? Oh, let's look. See, I always have a question Ronnie can't answer. Well, he hits me with stuff. Let's hit specs. You may ask me the question, but I will find the answer no matter what. 15 pounds. Okay, that's not that's not bad. That's really not too bad. Mm-mm. Okay, so so I was talking about you know because it is holidays are coming up, and so maybe I'll give you a little more heads up than we did on the last one because we only had a couple weeks notice on the uh, the, the Halloween thing. This company's Atmos FX A T M O S F X, and if, if you if you weren't listening to that episode, we talked about how photographers often have video projectors laying around, mm-hmm. right? Because you uh, either using them for your watching big screen sports or you're using them to show clients what a 40 by 60 image might look like if it was printed to project or various, you know, you can use them in the studio to project uh, images on uh, models or various subjects uh, or for background type looks. Anyway, so if you have a video projector, and I'm guessing you probably do because you're listening to this podcast, this company... Atmos FX has um, data. Essentially, they've got essentially they've got uh, DVDs and video files that you can use to decorate your house for the holidays. And if I can switch over here to their screen, uh, you can see here that they have um, uh, various Santa Claus hmm. type of uh, snowing Wonderland, and they have other stuff too. They also have celebrations and party time they did have a nice halloween one that we were looking at last time and this is a oh that's and, cool and what I you like do that. with these is that you put a scrim in your window uh-huh. a scrim it will just you know it's a thin fabric that can be projected from the back side and then you put the uh the <laughs> atmos fx files projected on the scrim so to the people passing by on the outside of the street it looks like santa claus is visiting your house and is stealing your tv set <laughs> Or, or and all, whatever. And this, all you know, the kids down the block are yeah. going, well, how come are they sat at our house and they're not at mine? <laughs> well, you know, if you read some of the reviews on these from Amazon, you can buy these from Amazon, um, these DVDs. Some of the people have said that uh, children have knocked on their door. You know, it's like, <laughs> I, can I talk to Santa Claus? Because he's obviously at your house. You know? <laughs> So these are are quite well done, and in fact, they really are. Uh, there's your, you know, these are kind of really limited only by your imagination. Here's a, we're looking at one now where there are is animations of snowflakes that are being projected. I know there's one example I like where the one like if you were having a party and you wanted people to be able to find your house easily, that one that's got like the balloons. You had it at the window and said, "Just come to the house. It's got the balloons." Yeah, and even you can set your projector outside if you live in a neighborhood that's okay with that. Uh, and you can project onto your house. You can project the, like the falling snowflakes or fireworks, or there's all kinds of different scenes. There's, and they're made up, uh, you know, you can, they have different versions. So if you want to just put it on your TV set and, you know, like the fireplace thing, you could do that. But if you want to put it in your window, then it doesn't have the window frame. So it, it just looks like it's happening inside your house. So these are fun. You know, these are, cool. these are fun stuff. So uh, check, check these guys out. They have some crazy stuff. All right, Rhonda. Okie dokie. So I found a company called Acrylic Press. In case you need to press your acrylic? Yes. But they do all sorts of very cool printing onto acrylics. Oh, they print on acrylic. Mm -hmm. Like they print photographic stuff on acrylic. So here gives you some ideas of just different things that they have from photos to actually they've got like a clock here. So they actually make items too. So they've got keychain, luggage tags, cute things, you know, that you might think of for Christmas for somebody, you know. So I'm seeing uh, this, this company, is what, they're, what are they called and how do we get to them? They are acrylicpress.com. Acrylicpress.com. Uh-huh. And so I, it's very interesting, you know. 
some all the way to photo blocks, to wall art, clear glass frame wall art, keychains. I thought keychains and luggage tags. I thought that's a cute idea to do for people. Something different. Yeah. Have you ever seen them before? No. Uh, what do some of those cost? Do you have prices on any of that kind of stuff? Let's or? look. Let's look. Let's Cause, look. Because you know, the holidays are coming and we can give some gifts, you know? Yeah. Some I, gifts for people. So let's look at, see, like the keychains. Customizable from $11. I did that. I don't know. I want a keychain. You don't want a keychain? All no. right. What else I got? Uh, wall art? Uh, what do you want? What do you want me to uh, look at? How about coasters? Coasters? Oh, co they do have coasters here. Hi, right, Jay. We just do happen to have coasters. Oh, well, those are cute. Cute. These are acrylic custom. coasters. Yeah. Custom. So you can put your so put people that you want to have a drippy glass sitting on their faces. That's from what I'm twenty six dollars square okay. coasters from twenty six dollars. I'm assuming that's a set, maybe a four. Yeah. 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 Four by four. Okay. Quarter inch thick, grade A acrylic. Okay, so acrylic it looks like, press. Yeah, if you look, they do all sorts of stuff. Ornaments. Let's look what, since the holidays is coming up, let's, oh, let's yeah, see what could, ornaments could, look like. We could do some ornaments, sure. We could have official Cool Photo Tools ornaments. <laughs> With Jay and I on it. Yeah. yeah, you can hang those in the garage. Oh, that's cute. Hang them in the closet. Look, they've got people put like their little kids, their doggy. Well, of course. Yeah. You know. Those are cute. Yeah. Okay, so something different besides... The normal stuff that you print on. Right, right. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I wanted to look. You can do a clock. Dry erase. Dry, they do dry erase boards? That doesn't make sense. How would you do a dry? I guess so. Look at this. Check yeah, that yeah, out. Yeah, people, you know, that's, draw mustaches on you if you didn't already have one. <laughs> but that's a cute idea for a dry erase board for your kitchen. Yeah, there's some definitely you know? some, some unique uh, gift, yeah. gift ideas that photographers can create here. Right. And we know the holidays are coming up. Everybody keep this in mind. They are coming. They are coming. So did you see this, Rhonda? What's that? This is um, from our friends at petapixel.com. Mm -hmm. And they are singling out a, a free software. And, and I know how you like free. I do. I love free software. So this can actually enlarge photos better than Photoshop. Really? That's what they're, that's what they're claiming here. Really? It says, it says upscaling a photograph always means trading resolution for size. And while Photoshop preserves detail, does a pretty good job, there's a freeware program called A Sharper Scaling that can do it even better. A Sharper Scaling. Huh. So they, they show an example here on Petapixel's page, and yeah, by golly, it, it did do a better job on this. Uh, so um, this is the, the website to the Sharper Scaling. It's at a-sharper-scaling.com. And they have some examples for you on there. And so some of these are, are pretty good examples. Um, rather than actually looking at a photograph, let's see if I can make this bigger on the screen for you YouTube folks. Um, they, uh, they show uh, an example with just some white lines on a gray background, and you get a chance to really see that the details are... It's, it does a nice job. If you look at the, the bicubic in interpolations... And then the Photoshop Preserve Details, all the various Photoshop settings. Then this one actually does a little bit uh, better job. Now, what I would like to see, and I'm not, I'm not seeing here, is I would like to compare this to one of those, like, you know, genuine fractals. Right. Which they don't call that anymore. It's got another name now. Yeah, I'm trying to think it's what it's an called because I product. actually, actually own it. Yeah, it's an on-one product now. Maybe uh, I'll compare the two. Yeah. It's called, um, what's it called? What used to be called genuine fractals. Um didn't really show it's you a ton on, of difference. On one resize is what it's on called. On one resize, thank you. What it's called now. Yeah, they, they claim that, you know, it doesn't um, it doesn't really do something noticeable until you get like 400%, you know, bigger than you're like, oh, oh yeah, okay, I'm seeing what you're talking about now. <laughs> so, anyway. Interesting. What you got, Rhonda? Uh, hold on, I gotta go back to my site. Okay, um, I ran. I think we've talked about this one a long time ago, but I ran across it again, and it looks like they're getting better at it. Well, that's the, always a good thing. Uh, the L16 camera. Do you remember us ever talking about this camera? It's, I don't. Well, I thought but we But that had, doesn't mean we haven't. I, I just don't had remember. A long time ago. There's see, a lot of things I don't remember it, anymore. It's an in your hand. So, oh, see, it's is got, this the one that, that looks it, like a VHS tape? 
Yeah, kind of. And, and it's got like. Did six, they ever ship that one? Did anybody ever get one? I. This is actually out now. Oh. It's sold out until 2017. Uh-huh. Believe it or not. Well, it might be sold out. But does anybody does anybody have one of these? Did anybody take a picture with one? Look at some of these pictures with one. Well, I'm, you know, I'm looking, but I it's hard to tell. I okay, mean, let's see more. So this is looks like a VHS tape with a bunch of little tiny lenses in it, and it's so, got a, a an assemblage of sensors that are like smartphone sensors, and it combines all these different sensors and different focal lengths of lenses mm-hmm. to give you kind of a zoom effect. Uh, but it was supposed to be like at fifty megapixel or it's something. Fifty-four megapixel. Fifty-four megapixel. Yeah, I do remember this now. Um, and is this uh, this is on their website at light.ca. Mm-hmm. L i g h t dot c a. That's what I said. It, honest to Pete, it looks pretty good. Well, of course, we're not looking at these. Show me the fifty megapixel version. Let me see. Let me just you know run to get one of these and let us try it for oh, a couple right. of weeks here. Yeah, rent one and find out what it looks like. So I said it to me. I, that's that's dynamite. Looks like it handles light well. Well, of course, they're only going to show you the really good pictures well, on the true. website. You know, the really crappy ones they're going to delete, like I always do. <laughs> <laughs> that rule of thumb, yes, for everyone. If you have a crappy picture, don't show it to everybody. That's right. You know, just, just show, delete show it your and get better, it over with. Show your better work. See, look, look at the range on this. This is very nice. And that looks like an HDR shot. It does, doesn't it? Which probably it is. It, it probably, could be. And why couldn't they do that? With you got enough sensors laying That's around. True. What the heck? That's true. Get in there and get in there and make an HDR shot. That's true. Yeah, I thought. But, the imagery looks pretty good. Okay, so did you see this? What's that? This is, again is from our friends at Petapixel. And Fujifilm oh, announces one, one thing I gotta interrupt you. You didn't oh, ask ahead. me how much that one was. Oh. Ron, how much is that? Yeah, seventeen hundred dollars. Okay, I'm trying to ooh. Yeah. And it sold out until two thousand and seven. You know you could get that. Rather. You know you could get the can the uh, the Sony A sixty five hundred for fourteen hundred for the body. Mm. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. Just saying. Mm-hmm. I think I, I think this light one, we're going to have to rent that one before we make a yay or nay on that. Yeah. All right. So Fujifilm okay. announces its medium format mirrorless, the 51 megapixel GFX 50S. And Petapixel is, uh, has this on their website. And this was a... A, uh, this actually was a couple weeks ago that this was announced. Uh, so, w- did we need this? Um, I don't know. Do we need a, do we need a medium sensor digital camera? Is is the digital cameras we have are they so sucky that we need to go? We need medium formats. Like, wow, man! I, I just you know the noise has just so been so terrible on my Nikon D eight hundred D that uh, I just need medium pixel. Yeah, and. Sure, none of my lenses are going to work, and they only have two lenses they're going to make for it. This reminds me of the Hasselblads of the old days, or the, you know, the old Mamiya or the Rolleiflex twin lens. I don't know. Is do we need this? Who needs who's who needs a camera like this? Anybody? I don't know. Maybe people doing fashion photography. Well, but see, in the fashion photography, how big do you ever print that stuff? You know. Oh, true. A fashion magazine or even a billboard, you know. But even you can you can shoot. Uh, you know, and you can enlarge those pictures. I don't see, I don't see this. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just missing something. You know, I used to shoot medium format back in the day. That's what we did. You know, shoot medium format film. But I think the advantages, and we did that for a couple of reasons. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, some of the the quality was a lot better on the bigger film format. But here, I don't know, and I'm sure. Well, 50 megapixel. Yeah, it's. But see, you were just looking at that camera that had the combined sensors was 54 megapixel yeah now if true. we see them side by side is there going to be a difference is it going to be sharpness is it resolution is it noise is it low light shooting capability and isn't it funny okay uh, just talking of what you're talking about look how much that we demand out of cameras now that's right they need to make yeah. our lunch <laughs> But Do the dishes. It, isn't it amazing? Think about it. Within just a matter of just a few years, we expect a lot out of a camera. And they deliver. Uh, yeah, in they spades, do. In they, spades. They do. But I mean, it just amazes me how much 
that we want more and more and more and more and more. At what point does it not do more? What more can we do? Well, I'm sure the camera manufacturers are a little worried about that, like because uh, they keep wanting to sell us new models. Mm-hmm. And there's going to be a point at why, and you know, maybe you know, some models maybe have already hit that. It's like, eh, it's just not that compelling. I don't need more megapixels. Yeah, I don't need more resolution. Uh, like Trey Radcliffe is, you know, is famous for saying when he switched over from the, his Nikon system, he went to the the Sony mirrorless, and uh, this was, you know, this was back many models ago, and people were saying, well, you switched from a uh, uh, a camera that shoots 36 megapixels to one that only shoots uh, 24 megapixels. And he says, well, interestingly, um, people don't don't pay me by the megapixel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, they buy the pictures because they liked them, not, but not how big the megapixels were on the camera that I took them with. So just, just, I'm just saying, keep that in mind. If you're thinking about one of these medium format cameras, it may not be making you money depending on what your use is. Hmm. Yeah. Well, talking of Fuji film, I I got looking at this one too. This is uh, the Fuji Film X T two. Have you heard of this camera? Is this oh yes yeah this is their new one that yeah. um, is mirrorless and is the it is is this the APS-C sensor size? In, I think interesting. It is. Look at look at you know we're talking about what can we ask of new cameras and stuff. This has eye detection. Yeah. Automatically detects the human well, eye. They, but a lot of a lot of them do now. Yeah, that's not. Fuji, you know, the Sonys have had that. You know, the A6300 has that. Okay. Um, I think, I, I don't think there's a bunch of cameras that have that. I don't think that's so, big. So, I don't know. Look, look, look. Okay, so. That's a good idea, and it, it works well, real well in the cameras that do have it. So, you know, I'm, yay. It says, focus lever to instantly change the focusing point. Oh, that's like that little joystick. Well, that's that's the same as on the Canons. Mm-hmm. You know, you can use that little joystick, and there's a bunch of cameras that have that too. Uh, what you need is a touch screen to be able to change the focus point. Touch mm-hmm. screen on the back. You just put your thumb on it, and just move that focus point right around where you need it. Uh, or you could just half press the button down and then recompose. <laughs> that was the I'm one. Just saying. That was the one thing with the uh, 5D Mark IV. Yes, Rhonda's been trying out the Canon 5D I Mark IV. Did. I did. It's over now. It's over now. Yeah, I tried it. And, it was okay. And how many have you got ordered? Uh, none. None, actually. Oh, what happened? Oh, it just, it doesn't have enough bells and whistles for me to give up my 5D Mark III. So they didn't, they didn't make enough uh, Not innovative enough. things for you to mm-hmm. want to cough up that 3500 bucks. That's the truth, yeah. For the body. Yeah. Just wasn't enough no. compelling reason to upgrade? No. In fact, I even tried their, their dual focusing system which at best is a little tough. And I understand, you know, when I first did it and I brought my, uh, my images into Lightroom, it's like, why is Lightroom having so much trouble reading these? And I didn't stop to think, well, I had the dual focus enabled. So you have two sensor pictures together on the RAWs mm. that, that you have to shift through. So um, I actually downloaded then Canon software, um, which is, it wasn't hard to use. It's just they're not real great at telling you where you're supposed to look at where you're supposed to go to do it. So, and with it, yeah, I could see where you can, you can move it up, move it back, you know, a bit to get your focusing points. But I don't think it was a big enough thing. It, it just, just didn't do it enough. Wasn't enough for me. Okay. Well, maybe, yeah. you'll, maybe you want to take a look at the Sony... A6500. Yeah, that, that, you know, that definitely is a camera to look at. Mm-hmm. Or wait, ha- hold out for the Canon 5D Mark VI. <laughs> if Canon continues on the way that they're going, they'll be about three years behind on that one, too, and everybody else will still be way ahead again. Yeah. You know, I hate to say that, because I, I love Canon. Canon, I love you. I'm loyal to you, man. But oh, you got to jump on the boat. Yeah, you got to stay competitive at some level or people will desert yeah. you like rats from a sinking ship. Yeah, they will. They'll jump right off. All right, cool photo rats. You know <laughs> what time it is? Have we blown through another one already? Yeah, we're over time. Hey. It wasn't done. There's just too much, too much exciting stuff <laughs> going much. on, yeah. Yeah, Christmas is coming up, guys. It is, so we're trying to get a jump on that. I got to go get uh I got to get my projector and a scrim. Mm-hmm. And put that in my front window. I think I'll run the Halloween ones though, and just kind of confuse everybody. On, uh, yeah, 
for yeah, Christmas. I think, I think that's a that's a good one, Jay. Especially the one because the Halloween one that has the little little uh, pumpkins also has a thing that you have. Um, gosh, it, it kind of looks like a monster come up, and pick up somebody, and carry them off. That that's always good at Christmas time. Yeah, it can be fun. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. All right, everybody. Have a great one. Yes. And we will talk to you next we'll week. See you later on. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You've been listening to the Cool Photo Tools podcast. Sign up for our mailing list at coolphototools.com. Got a question? Send an email or MP3 audio file to info at coolphototools.com. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.